just recently Warren and I did a video in regards to, you know, criticizing the mayor of Auckland for all the expenditure. And, the, and we're, what we're responding to is an article in the Herald. Well, today, would you believe the letters, the letters are flooding in in regards to it. Obviously, it's a key issue in Auckland. Vaughan, what's your thoughts? Well, Max, uh, you know, local body elections are in 2022, which means we all get to choose our, our new mayor and councillors later this year. So unsurprisingly, after two years of relative hibernation, mayors and councillors nationwide are crowing about all the wonderful differences they've made to our lives. Uh, look a little closer and what you'll really realise is that they are singing for their supper. So last week, yep, Greg Sayers came out, blew the whistle on out of control and wasteful uh, spending in council. Um, and this week, Phil Goff, uh, mayor of Auckland, retorts, and uh, this here, I've got to tell you, what a load of bullpucky, bro. I mean, Phil Goff did not write, <laughs> he did not write this. Um, uh, you, you, if you read it, and, and please don't, because you will just be dumber at the end. Um, but he has given his rose tint version of events in Auckland. So he's clearly refuting everything that uh, Greg Sayers is saying. Phil Goff's article on page 23 of today's Herald is pure self-satisfaction. Uh, in short, it's a wank. It's a fact that the city is in financial crisis, not according to Phil Goff, who in 800 words would have us to believe he is a unicorn and his councillors are walking on water. He talks glowingly how everyone works together. In his article, he it, it, look, he's made delusional dribble such a fine art form that he makes an opera singer look like a rap artist. I mean, let's forget that the city is straddled, straddled with 16 billion of debt, that he's added 3,000 additional staff in just five years. A team of 10 probably wrote that article for him last night. Um, let's forget that his own independent survey of Auckland ratepayers shows that 80% of uh, Aucklanders who in the survey don't trust his council. So just to summarise, Max, um, get off the grass, Phil Goff. Look, there's rumours he's not going to stay or he is going to stay. Clearly, he's either talking his game up to get re-elected or he's talking his game up to collect the bloody knighthood on the way out the door. Either way, I'm not wearing it, bro. How say you? Oh, look, what I say is, I think you did right. A unicorn, which is the mayor of Auckland, um, he's he's had forty years as politics and honestly achieved nothing. But what he has achieved, one big major thing, and that's get Auckland into debt and lots of it. But more importantly, it's all the hidden taxes we're getting, all the hidden rates and the hidden things that we're getting. It's really compounding it. And he keeps smiling like our prime minister and tells us everything's lovely. Everything's rosy, folks. But by the way, we're just going to increase your rates just a bit. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Well, Vaughn, you know, thank Max, you very much. Yeah, Max, I've just got a button there. You were spot on when you said Bill Goff is actually a career public servant. Most people who meet him, he is an affable and a really nice guy. So whilst I'm ranting here, the Phil Goff you meet is, is like a patsy, a lamb, a teddy bear. He's this wonderful man. But the reality is, like you said, he has actually achieved nothing. And, mm. you know, if I said to the people out there, name one thing Goff has done for the city, for Mayor Goff, respectfully, has done for the city that you would say is awesome, I bet there's nothing. I challenge viewers to say one thing other than it's time to go, Phil. <laughs>